Oh hi. Today, we're gonna learn feedback in touch designer. Before we talk about feedback, let's talk about FPS first. If you see the top of touch designer, there is FPS. FPS means frame per second. If it's 60 FPS, 60 images are draws in one second. You can see FPS in games or videos. Touch designer also draws many images in every second. But in the real world, we can't make images as fast as computers. When put a pen on a paper, its traces are left, therefore drawing a line. Like this, process with time continuously accumulate and make one image. So, how can we make an image while leaving past image? The key is feedback. In here, a point is rotating and changing its color in every frame. Let's assume that we stacked up the past 100 frame to its back. And let's see this in 3D. But it's too compact to see what happened. I'll make a gap between each of them. Okay, pause this and as you can see, their colors are different cause they are changed in every frame. But past frames can't affect to the result cause new frames are drawn over them. At this point, what will happen if black colors become transparent? The points past 99 frames are stacked up, making a circular image. Like this. I only use past 99 frames for an easy explanation, but in the top feedback, this process continues endlessly. So let's make it. Make a circle. In a small size, Make a noise, set time slice in common, make it move smaller, and copy and paste it, set different seeds, apply them to the circle's position, make a null, make a composite and set it to over, make a feedback from null. Connect it to composite and drag composite to feedback. Hold on, let's make a background color. Yay, we made a feedback. Okay, let me walk you through this. Step 1 NAR1 goes through comp1. Step 2 Feedback gets comp1's image. Step 3 Feedback goes to comp again. Step 4 the image that went to comp is blended on the past image by over. These processes loop infinitely and make a feedback. Oh, and you can press feedback's reset button to clear past images. If you want to make the past image disappear slowly, you can use level. Set opacity to 0.95 It means after images, opacity of every frame are set to 0.95. In other words, the opacity of the first frames after image is 0.95, and when the next frame comes, its opacity becomes 0.95 squared, and then the image will be combined with the second frame's new bone after image. In the next frame, the opacity of first frames after image will be 0.95 cubed and it will be combined with the new third frames after image. And so on, they loop infinitely. But this calculation is not completely correct because these processes are using color instead of value. Anyway, you can find feedback in touch designer's palette as well. Banana. Oh, and when you're using over, we can set the past images to go up or go down. If connected like this, image will go down. 
If connect like this, image will go up. When using composite, you can use this way to set their position. Let's do something more interesting. I'll change the color of the circle which we made earlier to red. And let's insert HSV adjust in here. By modifying this, the hue will change in every frame. If you set it high, it becomes like this. You can make it bright before it disappears. Also using blur can make it really cool. By inserting this place here, you can make this kind of look as well. If you use transform and displace on alpha noise, it becomes like this. You don't have to apply feedback on 2D images. If you use feedback to 3D render images, they will become sophisticated. 2D after images are branded on 3D, but there's also perspective. And this is particle. If you use edge, it will make a very unique feedback image. Back edge and activate comp over input to create an edge on input image. If so, through the feedback, the edge will make an edge again and again endlessly. If you make blur and set it brighter, Wow! It's also basic touch designer palette. But don't you think it's a little bit weird? Previous examples have their alpha channel, however, this noise doesn't happen, so it should not be able to use feedback. Actually, it is because the composite setting is set to screen, not over. You can blend images in various ways using composite. Use your creativity to blend images in different ways. It will be so much fun. And you can apply these methods to an audio spectrum in the previous tutorial. If you set some rotation value, you can make these kinds of audio spectrums as well. Indeed, now you can make sophisticated audio spectrums. Now, we figured out that feedback is quite fun. Let's make some more with this. You can adapt feedback image on high map to make an invisible man footprint over snow. It's kind of scary, so let's change it to dogs. You can create the hyperspace jump in Star Wars with feedback. You can use feedback on video to make different looks. If you use feedback with a mouse, yay, generative! It's really interesting that we can make something we didn't expect by setting a rule and looping it. Just like by using feedback. We can call this generative art. Guess, we are doing a generative art now! Yay! Anyway, Thanks for watching. If you do Patreon for me, you can download an example project file. I'll come back with a better tutorial next time. Okay, bye!